Today we welcome Dr. Carrie Ann Jones, Assistant Secretary of State for Oceans, Environment and Scientific Affairs in the State Department. Dr. Jones, welcome to Italy. Can you tell us a little about the reason for your visit? Yes, I can, and I'm very happy to be here. This is my first visit to Rome, and I'm here to attend a conference uh, that's called Toward a Safer World. And uh, the conference is organized by the World Food Program, uh, the UN Coordinator for Influenza, and the USAID, the Agency for International Development. Uh, the purpose of the conference is to look at what we learned from the recent pandemic, the influenza pandemic that happened in 2009, and to see what kind of lessons we learned during that experience and how those lessons can be, can be applied to other emergency situations. You mentioned that the U.S. and Italy are cooperating in science and technology. Could you elaborate on that? Certainly. Uh, science and technology is a very important part of our bilateral relationship. Uh, and it's been a part of our relationship for a long time. We've had a science and technology agreement between our two countries for over 20 years. Uh, what this agreement does is it tries to promote collaboration between our scientific communities that both of our countries uh, feel is important. So there are many subjects that we are working on. We're working in areas that include energy and, and environment. We have scientists who are working together on health. Uh, in particular, they're working on areas related to cancer and uh, infectious diseases. We also have collaboration that is looking at uh, advances in information technology and nanotechnology. So it's a very vibrant relationship. Uh, U.S. scientists and Italian scientists collaborate. And it's been something that's a very important element of our, of our partnership and something that we look forward to continuing to build on. Could you tell us a little more about cooperation between uh, the NASA and the Italian Space Agency in space? That's a very exciting relationship, and it's another one between NASA and ASI, which is the Italian Space Agency, that's been around for many years. Um, it's uh, both of our countries, I think, are excited about the idea of exploration, and certainly that's what space is all about. And in fact, recently, a Italian astronaut, Roberto Vittori, joined the uh, shuttle crew, the Endeavour crew, on its recent mission up to the International Space Station. So that was very exciting for both of our countries. Uh, together, we are also looking at uh, studies that are looking into some of the other planets, uh, in particular some work on Jupiter. How about cooperation on climate change? Well, climate change, as you know, is a, is a significant challenge that is facing all countries. And uh, we are very happy of, about our work with uh, Italy and the collaboration that we've been doing with them. We are also very, um, we admire Italy's leadership on this topic and we look forward to working with them in many different forums that are addressing climate change, uh, including the Major Economies Forum, which Italy has been a strong participant. Uh, climate change is a challenge for all of us and as you know, the Obama administration is committed to addressing the challenge of climate change. And we do this both nationally with uh, regulations and different activities and investments that we are making, in particular in new technologies, trying to move towards less carbon intensive energy sources, uh, as well as working regionally and internationally. Uh, internationally, you know we are committed to the Cancun agreements and that very productive meeting where many of the key topics of climate change were addressed including such things as mitigation, adaptation, and looking at the investments and the new technologies necessary to change the path that we're currently on. In the increasingly difficult economic situation, what emphasis will the Obama administration place on science and technology? Well, the president has spoken many times about the importance of science and technology to of the U.S. and to the world in terms of solving difficult problems. And in terms of the budget situations that are now emerging, uh, the, the President has committed to continuing to invest in science technology as it is the future of our economic growth and it's very important in terms of the situations and then, as I said, the challenges that we face. So the budgets that have gone forward, while there have been reductions in many areas, the investment in science and technology remains strong and we continue to believe that it will remain strong because the area is very important for our country. Thank you, Assistant Secretary, for being with us today. It's been my pleasure. Thank you.